In this video, I will show you how to swap PNB to ETH in MetaMask. So let's jump straight into it. So first, what you're going to want to do, if you don't have it already, you want to download the MetaMask extension for your browser. So you want to come across to metamask.io and you can see by default it's download for Chrome. But if you click the download button at the top, you're going to see all the different supported browsers. So what you want to do is download the extension for the browser that you are using. So for me, it's actually Google Chrome. I've gone ahead and got this set up. So once you've installed it, what you want to do is click onto this little jigsaw puzzle piece up here. This is your extensions. And then you can come and open up MetaMask. And once you've logged in, this is what it's going to look like. So it's actually swap BNB for Ethereum. It's basically a case that you're going to use a exchange agency. Now, the one I would recommend is this one, PancakeSwap.Finance. And what you're going to want to do is come across to PancakeSwap.Finance. And first of all, you want to connect your MetaMask wallet. So to do this, come up to the top right hand corner and you want to make sure first you're on the smart chain network. So if you come to this drop down box, you've got some different networks like Ethereum and Polygon. And you want to make sure you're on BNB smart chain. Then just go ahead and click the blue connect wallet. And what you can do, you'll see MetaMask here. So you want to click onto that to connect your MetaMask wallet. So what it's going to do is load up the extension and it's going to ask you if you want to connect with MetaMask. So you can see I've got my wallet here, which I've set up. So of course I've bled this out for security reasons. What you want to do is click the blue, then go ahead and click the blue connect button. And you'll see we are now connected. So now we have our wallet connected. What you want to do on PancakeSwap is if you come up to these options up here and you want to click onto trade and then go to swap. And then from here, what you want to do is make sure BNB is in the top box and underneath you want to change the cake options. What you want to do is come to the search box when it's set up and go ahead and type ETH or Ethereum into here. And you can go ahead and choose your Ethereum coin from here. So now you can see we've got BNB and it's going to be swapped for Ethereum. So the final thing you need to do is just enter the amount you want to transfer. So I don't actually have any BNB in my wallet, but if I went for five, for example, what it's going to do is tell me how much Ethereum I will be able to get. And if you go down to the bottom, you're going to get some more information such as the trading fee. So you can see, as I said, it says insufficient BNB balance. I don't have any BNB coins in my wallet. But if you do, then it's going to give you the swap button down here. This will say swap. So what you would do is click swap and that's going to go ahead and swap your BNB for Ethereum. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.